Hi folks, thanks again for joining me. Today's watercolour, got another big open landscape. Got our distant hills there, two or three layers put in. And then we've got the trees and hedgerows coming further and further forward as they get bigger and bigger. And then we've got right into the foreground, it's just scraped out a simple little building with a few random details with the card. Quick mention of the book, Watercolour Party Made Simple, Volume 3 by myself, Stephen Crow. This is available on Amazon in softback, Kindle, hardback. Um, there's nine paintings in there, loads of step-by-step -step photographs to guide you through each one. So that's on Amazon. As for the colours for this one, we've used ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. Most of it done with a large Ron Ranson Ake. And then got a tiny little flat brush there and a, and a number three rigger. Right then, so this is just a bit of clear water. Stop it giving all crinkly. And I'm going to go a bit of blue, a bit of Payne's grey. Start off with some of that up there. I've also caught a touch of that green, but I ain't going to worry about that. I'll work that. I'll work it down. I'm just giving myself just like a, a general background just to work to. Get a bit of colour on the paper, basically. A bit of colour, a bit of texture. Right, that's like that. Now I'm going a bit of a lizard in crimson, Payne's grey. I'm going to bash it in like this first. I'll just use a tissue just to lighten little bits here and there and blend it in a little bit better. So I'll just take my tissue. Just soften bits off. Soak that water up at the bottom of the paper. Lightening. I haven't cleaned the brush incidentally, just taking a little bit of blue and we've got some very far distant hills. And what I might do actually is just, just soften those edges, see look, just taking it down. It was a bit hard the edge was then, I wanted that a little bit softer. Even. I think I watered that a little bit too much because it's coming down. I'm going to water that. Uh. I want to get a little bit stronger now. Same colours, but a bit more paint this time. Do you want that slightly stronger hard edge? Although to get it really strong, I should have dried it, but I ain't gonna worry about that. In fact, you know what, I'm just gonna set off that slightly softer edge. Just straighten out this base, base of these hills. I'm gonna clean the brush. Now I wanted some some grass now, so I'm going into a bit of green. Sweep that across. And a bit of raw shed in there as well. Hang on, I just want to change the colour slightly. If I just get some raw sienna, clean the brush, bit of raw sienna. I'll put trees and things in there in a bit, but for now, I'm just coming down to where the 
there's like a little river down here. I'm just bringing it down just to the start of the river. It's going to be somewhere out there. I'll just put the other side in, just so you can just see, just see the start of it. Sort of trickling round. Just working its way. in there just to change it slightly. Back into that green. And the river it sort of carries on in that sort of direction. Or well, at least it, one part of it does, but then the majority of it comes down then like this. I'll just get the main shape of it in first before I start on the other things. I'm just going light red, just brushing now the left hand side. Bank. Just a touch of water, just want to get that chisel edge back. Again, a bit of red just to change this bottom section just to get the difference from that top. A bit of variation in the colour. It's going to be darker down on this left hand side. I'm just giving blue just to darken the mix a little bit. Just dipping the very tips of the brush in the water just to keep that chisel edge that I've got on the brush. And then I'm just going to finish off. Just have a little bit too much water then. Sort of main main layer of the land. So let's just pull that tight. And get it flat against this board and I'll be good to go again. Right then now I'm gonna start putting in the trees and things. So again I've got just enough water in the brush in all the hairs just to hold hold everything together like so. Right, let's start with the most distant trees, which are going to be right up. Like what I might do, I might strengthen that actually. Let's put another layer in there. This was the layer I meant to do originally actually. But now it's dry, see the sharp, sharp edge that it's capable of getting. I'm just going to take that. Into there. And then just come off there with so These are all hedges and trees and things right in the distance.
Right, then coming slightly further forward, they're going to get slightly bigger now. And I'm going a bit more lemon yellow, a bit more Payne's grey. Now we're going for some bigger trees. So I'm just pressing down a little bit harder. Trees going up there. So now the fields are looking a little bit deeper as we look at them. trees there. Now, now I'm using the corner of the brush now as they're getting bigger still as you come even closer into the right into the middle ground there. What I'm doing is just dipping the tip of the corner just as if the paint started to come off just loosen up by just dipping the tips of the hairs into the water Keeps the paint loose, keeps all the hairs together. So just a few little details in there. Only now coming further forward still. Just take the opportunity to just create a few reflections in this water. tree trunks there. Right then. So I'm going to get another layer on, on this one on the left hand side just to darken it a little bit more. So I'm just going to go a little bit of raw sienna, lemon yellow, a bit of ultramarine. Let's sort of go that red as well. A bit of brown. Ultramarine. Imagine all this area is in sort of Quite a lot of shadow. Right now I'm back to the back to my trees now, so I'm going back into those three colours. These sort of really dark greens. Do is give that a quick dry down this area. the big brush and then I'm flicking them right up there, they're going on mass now. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
to if I just loosen I just want to get like a focal point in there so if I just pop that in again dark and then I'm just going to just scrape a little out in there um, Tiles here and there. Loosen that up as well. And I can just just continue that off there. just a tiny little bit of colour just going to use this little flat brush um, let's just put a little bit of red on the roof hang on just a little bit of red just to take the edge off it now quick dry So I think I'm going to leave it at that now, I think. That's all I'm going to do. Just put my name in the corner and call that one finished. I'll just pop it down there. So let's stick a, a mount on that and, and see what it looks like. So here's the, uh, the finished painting in its main. So if we go and have a closer look. Started with the sky, um, very simple wash. These clouds are predominantly alizarin crimson and Payne's grey. And then, you see I just soften the tops of the, the distant hills there. And then when the, the one was dry, you can see how the, the, the nearer hills gone in with the sharper edge. I've used a sort of sharp edged hake just to dab in all these distant trees and hedgerows, just dividing up all the land far, far away. And the trees get bigger and bigger as I come into the uh, the middle and foreground. See, well, I've just scraped in simple little building and then a whole load of mass detail with the card, telegraph pole and wires and whatnot, just to give the viewer something to think about gives a focal point as well to the scene and then I've just painted around the water just to give the impression of this sort of river sort of coming from this direction then sort of snaking its way around into the foreground a few dark trees there just flicked up with the hike and you sort of get this effect so I hope you like today's painting thanks for watching thanks to everyone for the support um, I hope you just paint along with me um, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Let's keep practicing and I'll see you all again soon.